At the end of the year, you may have donors that are prepaying their next year's pledges so that they can put the deduction on their tax return, but you need it to record on your management reports in the following year. So to handle this, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a prepaid pledges account. We'll go to accounts, lists, chart of accounts, and I want you to set up a chart of account in the liabilities. And I've already got it set up, so I'm going to open it up here for you. Call is going to be an other current liability, and it's called unearned revenue or prepaid pledge. And this is where we are going to record the payments to. Then we hit save and close for that. And next I need to go up to list and we need to, to go for an item, add an item. So you go down here to items, new items. And so I've already got it set up, we're gonna go here. We're going to make it a service type item. We're gonna call it prepaid pledge. We're gonna tie it to that chart of account that we just set up. Now we need to enter the check we receive from the donor. This is very important. I need you to enter it as a sales receipt. So we received a $10,000 check from Danny Donor. I'm going to sales receipts. Make sure you've got your correct class for whatever the donation was for. We've got our prepaid pledge here and we've got that at the $10,000. And I'm gonna save and close that. Okay, now when I go to the sales by customer detail, I see that Danny here has his prepaid showing up. So now we know his donor acknowledgement will be fine. Now we roll into the um, next year and we need to make sure that he's it's showing the revenue from that pledge because so far we have not recorded the revenue anywhere. So if you know, if you've read my books or attended my online classes, I highly recommend putting in all the pledges dated January 1 as an invoice. So we're going to go to invoices. We're going to be make sure we know that whatever class these are related to. We're going to make this a January 1 date. Now we're going to put the item is going to be whatever your normal pledge donation item is, not the prepaid pledges, whatever your normal pledge item is. We're going to make it for whatever the pledge is. And we're going to save and close that. But now if we were to run a report, it shows that Danny has this $10,000 outstanding balance. That's not good because he's already paid it. So let's issue a credit. So we have new transactions, credit memo and refunds. And now again, using the same class, using the item, the prepaid item that we used for the original entry, we are now going to put the 10, one, two, three. Actually, before I do the credit memo, let's go to reports. I want you to see on the balance sheet, here on the balance sheet, you can see now his unearned revenues and prepaid pledges is the 10,000 is showing as of December 30th on 17. All right, so now when we record this credit memo, we're gonna hit save and close. I want to apply it to an invoice, hit okay. There's the invoice it's gonna get applied to. Now you see he has a zero balance there. We go back to the reports and we see on the balance sheet, Let's go to the next fiscal year. We see that under the current liabilities, that is gone. Now we can also look, profit and loss standard, which is the same as the statement of activities, right? And the P&L. Um, here it is for December. It did not show the donation because remember we put it to a liability. But now we 
If I show it for the next year, we are showing pledge income there that includes that $10,000 for Danny Donner. And that's how you can handle your prepaid pledges.